What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. Um, what is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. Today is Monday, November 8th. What time is it, though? It is t- almost midnight. Boy Dad after dark. We're getting a late night episode in. Our cocks are out under the table. Rome was out on vacay, and luckily we pulled it together all for you guys. <laughs> all for the listeners. That's who we do it for. Wasn't even going to come in, but I got right off the airport from LaGuardia. I said straight to the fucking <laughs> studio. I got to get some <laughs> shit off my chest, bro. But before we get into shit that. Shit is like therapy for me <laughs> in this bitch, bro. Before we get into that. We're going to go ahead and thank our presenting sponsor of today's episode. Presenting sponsor? Dat Chat. Wow. Ron, why don't you tell them, why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about Dat Chat? Dat Chat is by far the most awesome new social networking and messaging app that a bunch of us over here at Barstool are using right now. In fact, I got it. All Dat Chat sass sometimes and i'll just i'll just tell him some goofy shit oh yeah some untrue we'll shit. we'll just be riffing on that i'll be chat. like this is the fish i had for dinner or yeah. like have you have, did you see big cats fat ass or <laughs> shit like that that's the kind of stuff on that chat but the best thing is this shit that shit disappears that shit can fucking disappear like fucking like a fucking ghost and now you can message and you can share with people you know in the way that you normally do you can send a bunch of drunk texts that you're regretting. You can self-destruct all of them, and you can pretend like it never happened. No anxiety. I used to just send regular text messages, and I'd be like, why Why did I do that? No, yeah, you're like, someone can find these, and I don't want anyone to find them. Exactly, and this shit is du- super-duper deep encrypted. Do you want to talk about something private with your girlfriend slash guy friends, bachelor, bachelorette or bachelor party plans? Again, no screenshots allowed. What? You can't screenshot on Dat Chat. Oh, shit. So why don't you do us a favor and go download Dat Chat for iPhone and Android in app stores right now. Go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download Dat Chat. All my life, this shit is crack, dude. I don't fucking message anybody unless it's no. some Dat Chat shit. Especially when I'm doing something naughty. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm up to something naughty, I'm using Dat Chat. <laughs> it's the perfect it's the perfect app for bad boys. Like planning out a bachelor party <laughs> or smuggling humans in from the border. <laughs> All kinds of shit. And because I mean they deserve to be here too. They do. They do. They 100%. All in good. All in uh Our goodwill. current president was smuggled over the border. He was. Joe Biden was born in Nicaragua. Yes. And then he they smuggled Someone him. To Obama was born in Kenya. <laughs> they smuggled both of them via Dat Chat. Yeah. And uh, it's it's the only it's my favorite uh, human. Dat Chat sp- used to be exclusively only open to the U.S. government <laughs> and um, terrorists in the Middle East. And now, through a very now, special offer, it's available to, to bar, you to Barstool and fans Barstool. and son of a boy dad fans yes. at datchat.com/barstool. Shit is incredible. Your voice sounds like it's back. <clears throat> yeah, it's back. I think tomorrow it'll be fully back. Yeah, it's it's, it's a it's, little raspy. We but if anything, it adds. I, I was saying earlier, it adds a little sex appeal. Yeah, it is. Like I'm sounding real. Like I'm like I'm uh, milf. I'm, I could be in Taken right now. Yeah, <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> and I will kill you. Like Liam Neeson. Yeah, <laughs> you're feeling like Neeson, I dude. Am. You you kind of look like ne- <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> I know. And I I'm do. not even fucking. Uh, have you ha- have you gotten that I've before? Gotten that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> really? No. He that guy loves to piss himself. Oh yeah. He's always pissing on himself. There's like pictures all over the internet of him just pissing himself. That's not surprising. He can't stop. He puts his hog away too fast, I think. I don't think I've ever pissed my pants before. I did on Molly once. (laughs) 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 I was driving a car home on Molly. While you were on Molly? It was like the end of it. I was on no other drugs. And I was just like looking looking to park. Yeah, I guess it sounds really bad when I say it. But uh, I like was looking for no, a, bro. a parking spot, and this I pissed open, myself. This is, a, this is a safe space. Take <laughs> yeah, that shit off your chest. Someone dat chat this fucking conversation yeah. and delete this off the face of the earth because I was driving on. I would have, I would have said that over dat chat if I were you, but <laughs> it's okay. You never pissed it, even like uh, one time I was really drunk in high school, and I, uh, I, it was at a weird time in my life where I was having intense panic attacks like every day. Yeah, and so I got really drunk. At a party, but I think I was more like also trying to like black block out my demons, my inner demons. So I got like really drunk, really, really fast. Damn. And then I got home, and I don't remember anything from going. I remember going home and going to bed. Like I didn't like black out. And then I woke up in the morning, and I it, this is back when I was like I was like a junior in high school, so I didn't have like a lot of followers on Twitter or anything. And I was like tweeting, just like getting That's some tough. tweets off in the morning. And all of a sudden, I hear from downstairs, he's awake. 
I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and then, what, your parents were checking your Twitter? My sister like told them that I was awake. And then they were like, I hear them coming upstairs and they're, they're like, do you think he even remembers? And apparently I, uh, yeah, like I, apparently in the middle of the night I just woke up and I was just peeing all over the walls. What? My mom was like, what are you doing? And I was like, going to the bathroom. No way. Yeah. Did they think it was something related to you drinking or they thought that it was, uh, they they thought that like oh no uh, you were just that, in a psychosis that, like, my piss smelled like liquor <laughs> yeah and uh and my mom said she was like in her room and all of a sudden it just sounded it was like 3 a.m. and it sounded like a pipe burst in the hallway <laughs> you had a heavy <laughs> I don't remember it at all just a hose of yeah. fucking thick ass <laughs> thick yeah. scream that's so badass and then it happened again same night happened what do you mean two times like I, then I went back out again for round two. Wait, what? What do you mean the same night it happened again? Like, so my parents like brought me to the bathroom, brought me back, back brought me back to bed, and then, uh, and then like an hour later, I was peeing again in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. I feel like that's a thing that only happens once because like you're that, dissociated and you don't know where the toilet is. I don't know. I, I genuinely like. I, I thought they were like lying to me for a while about it. Dude, maybe there was a ghost of a toilet in your hallway, and you could only see it while you were asleep. Cause I. Dude, like, nothing like that has ever happened to me. Maybe that house was built on a toilet, like uh, an old Indian toilet or some shit like that, yeah. like a haunted Native American toilet or some shit. Could have been. It must have been some shit like it that. It must have been something like that. Did your parents, uh, did they make you, you go get a switch from out back, or did they spare the rod and spoil the child? <laughs> did they beat your ass or what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they didn't. They were, like, they weren't, like, mad. I think they were more just, like, upset. I don't really think they really cared that much, though. That's what they told but you? I got in trouble. I got grounded for a week. Until like, the next weekend? <laughs> like you were? <laughs> yeah. I think it was in the summer. Okay. So, like, a week is a long time in the summer when you're oh, in high yeah. school. Oh, yeah. And, um, and yeah, and then I, uh, I just remember going to get food with my parents, and it was a long car ride, and they were just like, really got to think about where your life is going right now. <laughs> Did you tell them that you were that you had demons? No, mommy, I have demons. I would never open up to them like that. <laughs> yeah, they're not your fucking therapist. <laughs> Some gay shit talking yeah. to your parents about your fucking feelings. Yeah, damn. Well, why would you? Why do you think you had the demons at the time? You beat those things. Yeah, I did. Uh, I I was I had a phobia of cars for a while. <laughs> yeah, driving in cars or being in a car. So I we got really drunk before I. Fuck, bro! So what happened? You would get drunk before you drove cars. You no. have to. It's the only way you could do it. <laughs> uh, a girl I was friends with in high school, her mom was driving me and my friends home, and I got like black. I, I was like, I'm gonna have a panic attack in the car, so I got super fucked up before the drive. I also lived like five seconds away. <laughs> I could have walked. I was gonna walk home. I'd never heard someone be afraid of cars. I had panic attack in a car twice while I was driving, and then I was like. So I couldn't even like get in a car without having a panic attack. Is it the fact you're confined? The fact you were in a confined space yeah. or something like that? And also, I think it was just like a like it just bit, it was like a, it happened twice in the car, and then I was convinced I was only gonna have panic attacks in a car. Fuck. Yeah. So it was like a phobia for a while, which is part of the reason why I also hate flying too. Because it's like mm. a car yeah. with. Uh, but now I'm fine. I mean, bro, I go in cars all the time now. Bro, I seen you in cars. You yeah. were fucking cool as a cucumber. Yeah, it was crazy. I had to like go to therapy for it. Uh, no I almost way. Had to, I almost had to go to like uh, like exposure therapy. I was about to say, yeah, was it exposure? No. Did you have to, like, uh, what is exposure therapy? Like, when you're, like, afraid of cats and they'll, like, dump a they'll, bunch of kittens yeah, on yeah, you yeah, or, yeah. like, you're afraid of, like, yeah. so <laughs> termites I, and they'll yeah. dump bugs I, uh, on you? I'm trying to think. Oh, I, I got, that was when I got, like, super into, like, working out, too. So I, I, I started, like, I meditated, like, every single day for, like, a year straight, like, multiple times a day. Really? Yeah, and then I was running, like, 10 miles a day. That's all in, in your, uh, are those new shoes? Oh, I was about to say, I'm about to go pull up on some new shoes. Just no. running ten miles a day in the in the uh, in the chucks. No, I was gonna run a half marathon freshman year of college, and I bought like nice ass running shoes, and I was training for it, and then we got sent home. Yeah, you run hard. I've seen I've seen you run a little bit. I feel like it's hard on your on your. Uh, when have you seen me run? I've seen you jog. Like no. if we're having a catch with a football, I've seen you run. You run. I feel like it's hard on your knees the way you run. No, I'm very good at running. I'm not saying you're bad at it. I'm and just I saying you're very good long. I'm very good at long distance runner because you have the bone structure for I it. I can go forever. You're lanky. Yeah, that was what I was doing in the beginning of quarantine. I would just run every day. Yeah, it was awful. Was it scary? No, because it's also like when you're running, when you stop running one day, it's like okay, I'm never running. I'm like I'm like, well, this is way better than what I do every other day, <laughs> so I'm never running again. Would you listen to music or be with oh, your thoughts yeah. or some Dude, shit? I or? go. I, I would go like psycho when I when I would run. 
screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. Screaming? It, oh, yeah. Because this is when I was big into Goggins. Do one of the screams. This is when I was big into Goggins, too. Oh, Around really? mile three, I'd start just letting out, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I remember oh, being God. at a stoplight right near my dorm room, and I was, like, wrapping up my, my 5K. And this dude came up to me and, like, patted me on the back, and he's like, you got this, bro. He probably thought I was finishing up like a marathon. I ran like three miles. And you're just like drenched in sweat, screaming. Yeah. And I loved like the intensity of it. Like I would only run when it was like freezing outside. And I wear like shorts and a t-shirt and like hat and mittens. Dude, you might be a uh, psychopath. I went, cr- I was going, and then I would like go straight to the gym. <laughs> I would go straight to the gym after running. And it would, it would like, I would be getting to the gym and it would only be like 7 a.m. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You were the first one in there? What did you think your life was about to be? Like, did you, were you about to try and be a Marine or some shit like no that? I have no idea, dude. Did you think that you were about to be, like, a hardcore, like, it was awesome. CrossFit I person? Felt, I felt fucking amazing. Did you really? Oh, yeah. So Except, that's how you beat like, the Like, the whole working out in the morning thing is fun until it's, like, 10 p.m. It's, like, 10 a.m. and you're, like, you can't even keep your eyes open. Because you just have uh, dumped out the clip. Yeah. You just have emptied it all I mean, out. I, was, I would be like burning like 2,000 calories before 8 a.m. I have to work out in the morning <laughs> though. I feel like working out in the morning. If you work out at night, like you are, you're you always working out at like 6 o'clock. It's like I feel like that's just going to make you awake for the next, uh, no. like th- that'll make you awake later into your day. No, I, I, I would work out in the morning, but we don't have a gym close enough to our apartment. So if I wanted to work out, oh, you gotta get by I would the have office. to go all the way down to the office, then go back home, and then go all the way back. Yeah, which isn't no gyms in Midtown Manhattan. Which isn't Manhattan. like a, it's not like much. That's not, that's not like a huge commitment, but that's what I would have to do. Yeah, the uh, it's it's tough, uh, or just doing anything later in the day. I feel like is bad. I mean, obviously they say looking at your phone later in the day is terrible for yeah. you, but I don't know a single soul who doesn't look at their phone right before they go to bed. Dude, I I. Uh, I'm like, I finally had the realization, like, I, I thought I was having, I thought I was, like, getting, like, insomnia and stuff, and I would, like, only could sleep with melatonin, and then I realized, I'm like, if I just put my phone down for, like, 10 minutes, I fall asleep. But that shit sounds sweet. But, dude, you're, like, but I, nobody I'm does so, it. No, I'm so addicted to my phone. <laughs> I know, it's on crazy. It, like, I'll be, like, I'll be, like, trying to sleep for, like, two minutes, and then I'll roll over and just, like, open it up and go on, like, Instagram reels <laughs> and just be swiping on that. And just see the dumbest shit on oh, Instagram dude, reels. so bad. Mine's all fucking half alligator, like fake alligator videos. It's tons of fucking like. I haven't seen any of that. My shit is all fake alligators. It's just like people like at th- it's two videos swapped together, and it's like a pit of alligators that are like snapping at someone who's going across like a rope bridge. But like, <laughs> oh my god, wait, no, I know exactly, and yeah, and and, and they, it's fake. It's so and it's so poorly edited. Yes, I know exactly. What and you're it comes about. up like comes every up, time. Oh, wait, like the it, it's like one background of like this background of like alligators in the water and they'll just like put it over and it would be like us sitting here <laughs> right and they'd be like alligators right here <laughs> swinging around and it's so poorly edited and it, they all have like 10 million likes and people are like, are like yeah terrified like put Dude, it's the, so weird it doesn't make any sense to me yeah. that that's why like i, I guess people just want to see someone get no, almost dude, eaten by an alligator i don't know what the hell is going on with like Instagram, like Instagram reels is bad yeah it's garbage it's really bad but is that like your way of being like i'm not on tiktok yeah, I mean, I, I don't go. I, I deleted TikTok again. I haven't been on it in like a week. But um, peace mode. I don't know. I was watching uh, on the plane ride back. I was watching the woman in front of me swiping, uh, swiping on TikTok, just like watching over her shoulder. Yeah, super creepy thing of me to do. But no, I do that all the time. I'm always looking at what people are doing on their on their phones. Yeah, I like when I sit in the aisle and I can look at a bunch of people and look at like what they're watching <laughs> yeah. on the TVs. Do you have a TV? No TV, dude. There's no there's no TVs on planes anymore. What they the took the TVs that? off the no, fucking planes. What the hell is that? I don't know. And dude, even when we go on like long flights, I'm like, okay, well at least there'll be TVs. And then when there's like, oh my god, it pisses me off so much. And they're like, just watch it on your phone screen. Yeah, it's I don't like, want to fucking what? watch it on my phone. No fucking way. Do I, I like watch watching it on my a phone. movie on the plane is like one of the best places to watch a movie. Yes, because it's the only time that you're not distracted you're, at all, you're just other than zoning. yeah, you're just yeah, locked in yeah. with it fucking right in your fucking face, yeah. dude. So, I mean, the last one, Breakfast at Tiffany's, was incredible watching all yeah. the fucking... you got to watch Breakfast I at know, Tiffany's. I know, I do. Bro. I watched Moneyball last night for the first time. It's incredible, right? Oh, it was a good-ass movie. Bro, you about to fucking... If I got an offer to be a general manager at a at a baseball team right now, I would take it. Bro, you look like Brad Pitt, kind I of. I know. Do you get that a lot? Mm-hmm. Dude, he was a fucking genius in that. Did it make you a baseball fan? I mean... It somehow actually still didn't even make baseball look appealing. It's no, like the it best made movie it ever. for me, but the fact that they lost... 
that they did when the World Series sucked. I mean, obviously, I know it's like a true story, so it's like can't really do anything about that. But, yeah, um, but it's like if you're trying to make him seem like the biggest genius of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, any movie, any sports movie, after watching it, you'll be like, all right, I'm getting like I'm I'm gonna start playing baseball. <laughs> like I, I used to watch like you know Miracle. Yes. Like that hockey movie, movie. Yeah, that movie I would watch and I'd go like I, I used you go to play skate? hockey. And I'd like go out thinking I'm like I'm gonna go to the Olympics again, yeah. <laughs> or like what do they yeah. say when they're like, like yeah, making yeah, them yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all sports, like most sports movies are like good as fuck. You're about to go fuck around and trade Giambi? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get rid of Giambi. <laughs> you think Giambi deserved to get traded? Yeah, fuck that guy. What? <laughs> He's a fucking piece of shit. Dancing in the clubhouse, fucking yeah. flossing with the fucking towel between his legs or whatever shenanigans he was Why pulling. Why did uh, Chris Pratt look like he was fucking 16 in that movie? Oh, yeah. Like, I forgot that Pratt was in that He's movie. He's 31 in it, but he looks so young. He uh, he was like the, the original dad bod god, Chris Pratt. Yeah. He, he like ushered in the era of dad bod. Like he doesn't have a dad. Dude, he's literally like a, a child in that movie. Yeah. It's weird. He was, uh, do you see he got in trouble this past week for being like, thank you to my new wife for giving me this healthy baby. Yeah. And everyone's like, fuck you. People hate Chris Pratt. Why do they? I don't know. Apparently he like goes to church. Oh, fuck him. <laughs> what? I didn't know he's a scumbag. Yeah, he goes to church where like apparently they don't like uh, gay people. But it's like, oh, Spoiler alert, that's every single church. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all religions. <laughs> I got bad news for you folks. Yeah. There's yeah. no gay love in church. <laughs> I, I don't know why they hate him. I'm sure we'll probably get people DMing us being like, well, you know, Brad Pitt or Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's actually a piece of shit. But like, I don't know. <laughs> and I actually, like I, every time he's in a movie, I'm like, he's kind of funny. And also, yeah, he is funny. He's and funny like, as fucking Parks and Rec. And he's done, yeah, he's had an incredible career arc of being like the like kind of like chubby, like lovable guy. Yeah. To being like an actual in superhero movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, shouldn't I think we he's root like for a Trump supporter or something? I don't know. Yeah, that's fucking wild, bro. The the libs don't need Chris Pratt. We'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll trade. We'll make a trade. <laughs> trade zone with the libs. You guys keep Dunham, yeah. and we'll get fucking Pratt. But uh. He had, and I also saw him getting, like, fried for the Instagram post, and then, like, I saw a screenshot of it, and it was, like, 2.5 million likes on it. Like, yeah. people fucking loved it. Yeah. It's not, and then, but... I didn't, I read it, and I was like, oh, it's a little weird, kind of, but, like, no normal person would read that and be like, oh, this guy's a sick piece of shit. He's subbing his son. Yeah. This like, they're, like, you're, you're dissecting the words in that post and like looking like they were like oh so he thinks his wife is just is just giving him a baby <laughs> that's all she's good for it's like clearly the whole like the whole thing had like a very like joke tone to it like and he's like trying positive, to be funny yeah like he's like celebrating a big moment in he his like life. made a joke about uh like her eat it chewing loud and his people, wife yeah and people were like oh my god if chris pratt told me i chewed loud i would fucking kill him <laughs> I would fucking rip his head off. I saw that. I mean, I, did you see that story about Robert Pattinson uh, saying that he uh, he had like a stalker? And no, uh, I saw that uh, everyone, like I saw him trending today though. He had a stalker and like she was outside of his house every day. And then he was like, fuck it. Like I'm depressed. I'm just going to take this bitch on a date. And uh, he took her on a date and he just like sucked so bad on the date that she stopped. She stopped stalking him altogether. She was idea. just terrible on the date. And, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of genius, like yeah. just chewing loud and fucking just making people hate you. I mean, people, it's it's. Is he uh, is he playing Batman? I think he might be. Yeah, I saw something about him playing Batman, and like he's like refusing to gain weight for it. So we we're gonna have a skinny ass, skinny Batman, a baggy Batman yeah. suit, like when Frail a four year old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's I think he's gonna suck. Beating the shit out of like massive henchmen, and he's yeah. just like skinny, like ah. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna like ever a women's be a, tennis a Batman that's gonna that's gonna um, be better than Affleck. I agree, bro. No, Affleck. no, bro. Christian Bale. <laughs> what, bro? Yeah, Affleck was the goat Batman. No, Christian Bale is the best Batman that the Lord ever will be. No, he, that's that's a fact as well. Uh, Christian Bale is just legendary status. We have to tip the cap to yeah. Bale. I will admit. I think I, is there a trailer out for the Batman movie yet? Yeah, I think I saw. I think it looked actually looked really good. Cause he'll be dark. At least Pattinson will be dark, and he's gonna be more of like a jokery Batman. What does that mean? Like he's sick and twisted. Oh really? Yeah. It's on some shit like that. Also a vampire. <laughs> vampire Batman. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. The fucking bats, I mean, vampire I didn't bats. Even think about that. It makes perfect sense. Yo, 
I didn't think about that either, we just bro. End the episode right here. This shit is fucking crazy. Sorry to the rest of our sponsors, but yeah, we, we just came to a ad. big realization that fucking Pattinson is always on some bat shit. He's a batty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop into Bear Bottom. We got a lot of ads on this episode today because. It's Let's like just say that. it hasn't been a perfect week over at the stool, and they need son of a boy to, have to pick up the slack. <laughs> <laughs> they said Erica called us in and said, "Boys, we're gonna need you to yeah. take this shit to the fucking moon yourselves. <laughs> we're gonna um, need you to take over the rocket ship and drive it yourself, boys." <laughs> Bear bottom. Look, let's just hop right into Bear Bottom, okay? We love them. I wear Bear Bottom every single day of my entire life, and I always will for the rest of my life. Their shorts are perfect. They're the perfect length. Their shirts, I wear their shirts to the gym mostly because they make me look fucking jacked. You don't have to go to the gym when you have some Bear Bottom shit because no. it will make you look I'm jacked saying, in and of this yourself. Is a, this is a personal endorsement. Yes. but I'm they're... saying I like to wear them in the gym because they make me look fucking jacked. And I'm sure they make you look jacked out of the gym too, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm almost always in the gym. It's my only chance of looking jacked wearing yeah. bare bottoms. Oh no, it's but very true. noodles like me. Yeah, guys that are just it is humbling yeah, when I don't wear my bare bottoms and I'm like, oh damn. That's why you need to be wearing them every, every day, day of the goddamn week, and that's on fucking. King. That's on God. That's on for some gang shit, some Chicago <laughs> gang shit. That's on Fordham Great, bro. Uh, it's comfy season right now. Comfy season's here, so you can stock your closet. With comfort without paying the insane markups you see at other online and big box brands. You can feel good wearing your bare bottoms because each item you purchase, a nutritious school meal is donated to a child in need. So take that, Michelle Obama. Fucking step your game up because bare bottom is fucking taking care of business every single day. Everything is built for value. You're getting the softest, stretchiest clothes in the game for a great deal while doing some good in the process. And right now, you can get $5 off your first order by going to barebottomclothing.com slash sun. That's B-E-A-R like the animal, bottomclothing.com slash sun. I cannot stress enough how good that shit feels on your body does feels really good it feels fantastic bro <clears throat> how was your weekend in uh it was in charleston, charleston south, carolina. south carolina and bro i'm straight as fuck that town is cute bro <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute and i'm straight Where'd i'm a heterosexual with? uh my wife has some friends down there your girlfriend <laughs> yeah <laughs> my long-term girlfriend <laughs> did you uh were any of the mics there uh dude no mics made the trip damn unfortunately sounds like a bust yeah, dude, it's tough to not have <laughs> any mics down there. It's, you always need a couple mics I would around. just keep a couple around all the time. Yeah, just keep a couple mics in your back pocket. <laughs> we might have to do a mic power ranking from you at some point. We should do a mic episode and just have all the mics on. <laughs> do you want to? Yeah, that would be awesome. We could travel somewhere and get all the mics on. Yeah, that would just be differentiate great. the mics. Let's do any of them live in Europe? Uh, one of them used to live in uh, Argentina. We could have yeah, gone down to Argentina. That's Ar not going to work. What's wrong with Argentina? <laughs> Why is that uh, not going to work? Fuck Argentina, bro. What, bro? <laughs> well, let me put you on some game about Argentina. We the should say they're... The fattest steaks out we there. We should say that we need to go to Europe to see them all. You just want to go... But why don't you want to go to Argentina? That would be cool, too. I want to go to... Uh, I don't know where I want. I want to go to Italy. I love that. A nice... Uh, like, the Vatican or some shit like that? Nah, nah. What, bro? I want to go to Florence and Rome. Firenze. Yeah. Why do you want to go to Florence? I've been. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. I think we should move the podcast out there. No Dude, taxes. I 100% would. No taxes out there. Is that true? I have no idea. I'll, I'll evade some fucking taxes. Yeah. Just like Jake Paul did going to Cuba or whatever. He went to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. And it was Logan, his brother. <laughs> okay, fuck, God damn, man. Bro. God damn Get your it. facts straight. I'm like a fucking idiot right now. <laughs> but uh, did he actually do that? Like, did uh, he? I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like he said that. I Everyone had have, made a I think he might have like moved there for a week and like made that his like primary residence or something and then he was just like nah i feel like that he's gonna get fucked from that somehow it's yeah because he just told everyone he was evading yeah, taxes yeah you can't just tell people that yeah, you gotta do that shit but i want to go to italy too bro <laughs> i'm gonna go to italy this coming summer for uh my dad's uh birthday uh we're gonna go on a trip you want to just come on that yeah yeah I mean, Fuck yeah. yeah, we're like family at this point. Oh yeah, bro, you met, met him, your bro. Dad. You've met him. You're fucking I've road dogs slept with him. In his house. You you peed all over his hallway. 
<laughs> what if that was like your calling card? Yeah. You're like a fucking animal that needs to mark his territory by just pissing in the hallway every time. Like a dog. My dad I respected the hell out of it. But yeah, dude, let's go to let's go to Sicily or some shit, bro. Yeah, let's go to the awesome. Almafi coast. Yeah. Venice. What's a Venice, bro. Venice. Let's ride a fucking gondola, bro. <laughs> Let's sing a fucking song on a river and in some romantic shit, bro. I'm down. I'm Let's down. have some prosciutto. It would be great for the pod. It would. Yeah. If we just took up an Italian An Italian adventure? Base. Yeah, dude. We went over the Italians, too. Do some live shows in yeah. fucking yeah. Italy. Yeah. Talk in with Italy. our hands a little bit. Yeah. Completely silent podcast. We just talk with our hands yeah. in front of the Italians. You see that Leonardo DiCaprio video where he's talking with his hands? Well, on Bezos? Yeah. He's like... <laughs> yeah, I feel like he... Uh, what was that? An extended cut? I don't know. Um, but I, I feel like he did not even want to be in that conversation. Oh, not at all. It's probably like... I feel for bro. Because he gets so much pussy thrown at him. I don't think that the girl was really like... I don't think it was anything crazy. Everyone's like, bro, Bezos is... This just proves that having being rich does not even get you bitches. You don't think that... This it, is proof. It's she, like, well, first of all... When you have the level of money that Leonardo DiCaprio has and Jeff, like, when you're that rich, it doesn't really matter how much more rich you are. Right. Like, like he's already rich as fuck. He's DiCaprio's all, get, getting all the shit yeah, anyway. If they're mar- if he married Jeff Bezos' girlfriend, her life is going to be no different than it would be if she was married to Jeff Bezos. That's facts, but I do think that she was thrown it at DiCaprio. You do? The body language. Bro, I, I'm just trying to have my boys back. I kn- you're trying to have your boy Bezos' back. Yeah. But I'm trying to have my boy DeCat's back, bro. Well, she was Caps, pointing her nipples at him like this, bro. <laughs> she was trying to like fucking poke his eye out with her nipple. Dude, no, no, one, need, no one needs to have DiCaprio's back. He's the GOAT. Bro, but he, people don't know the struggle that bro goes through. Because people are always like... I would love to be bro. Like, I'd love to be in bro's shoes. Like, I'd love to live life as bro. But they don't know that, like, when you have Jeff Bezos throwing his fucking, his wife's pussy at you, like, Bezos probably has shooters in the building. Oh, like, 100%. that's a headache that, that well, bro Bezos doesn't probably need. owns the building. Yeah, he definitely owns the building. And he could have DiCaprio taken care of like that. No. And that's why it's not sweet to be bro. Like You can't have Leonardo DiCaprio taken care of. You'd probably make it look like an accident. Make it real sad. Not after that tweet he fired off. Oh, he, saying he was going to kill him. <laughs> he did, yeah. yeah. That was a bold move. Yeah, he kind of telegraphed his I don't really think like, being the richest person alive, you're, I don't think you're allowed to be throwing around jokes like that. Threatening to kill people? Yeah. Yeah, because he actually is he killing actually people. he actually will do that. <laughs> he actually has definitely killed people before. I saw him out at brunch one time in Miami. Really? Bezos. Is he, looking, he was looking kind of jacked in that picture. You think he's on steroids? He is on steroids. What? Yeah, he has he has a buffet of human growth hormones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just fucking goes to town. It sounds incredible. It he, does sound awesome. His, he's very vascular. He's a vascular man. I also saw our our, uh, our other bro Musk was in the news because I think that like over the last year he went from like thirty billion dollars in net worth to like three hundred sixty billion dollars yeah, yeah. in net worth. Yeah, he's loaded. Yeah, shout oh, out he's to rich him. as fuck. He's rich as fuck, bro. I can't yeah, wait to so fucking cool. get as rich as him, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, once this pod, once Spotify buys the pod, I can't wait to fucking. But it's, I mean, we're not settling for any fucking bullshit Cooper deal. No, the fucking we just price want just one went million up. dollars more than she got. This, that's fine, or whatever she, her next deal is going to be. We just want a little bit more than that. Whatever she's getting, just put a little cherry on top. <laughs> you of think the she's boys. gonna do another deal? Or you think she's gonna retire? Retire? Then why would she keep working, bro? She's the fucking goat. What do you mean? Why would she? Why does LeBron keep playing basketball? <laughs> true. That is true. Do you think that she's just has to go on? Uh, you know when MGK was like, uh, I like uh, I need to go through shit to keep running. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think she's like that, and she's just like fucking. She's like it's for the pod. Like I need to yeah, fuck I for mean, the it pod. Makes sense. I need to keep on fucking for the pod. Do you think that when people sign over to Spotify, it like kind of like. T- uh, like, Takes their think, edge, bro. Do you think they lose a lot of listeners or no? Uh, no. Nah, Maybe like a couple thousand? I don't know, because I think they gain listeners. Yeah, I would imagine they gained a fuck ton. Really? Call Her Daddy is like the fifth thing on like Spotify Explore page. Yeah, it's true. They also gave her a billboard, which I don't really understand that at all. Yeah, what else did I... Oh, she was on What's the... the f- whoa, who's who's looking at a billboard of a podcast and being like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to listen to this. I have to fucking listen to that. Now you got me. That picture looks like it would go great with some audio. Yeah. She was on the Drew Barrymore <laughs> show. Really? She uh, was on Tucker Carlson yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> AC was? Yeah. 
No way. Yeah, she was talking about like well, Tucker was talking to her about like how dick sucking is um destroying the minds of the youth. <laughs> and what, was she arguing with it or she oh, was yeah. she was she was like she no, strong. it's actually she sucked him off on sti- on uh, on Tucker Carlson. No way. Yeah. I'm going to prove right now yeah. that you can't ruin that you will ruin Alex, my mind. Alex Cooper from Barstool Sports, <laughs> Spotify deal, 60 million dollars, 3 years, Alex. She's going to suck me bone dry. <laughs> 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 To prove that she is going to suck the fuck out of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> to prove that the minds of the youth are being corroded by the Gluck Gluck Nine Thousand. <laughs> Alex, explain the Gluck Gluck Nine Thousand. <laughs> well, I suck the soul out of guys. <laughs> of course, I destroy their minds. It's called giving brain. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she was saying that, like, uh, she was like. I'm never going to Photoshop a picture. Like, my fans call me out for Photoshopping a picture, and I promise that I'm going to be okay with the body that I have. And she Photoshopped, right? I mean, I don't know if she Photoshopped. No, no, no. She got caught Photoshopping. After that? Or, like, I think she was like, from this moment forward, I'm never going to Photoshop again. Did she say she's never going to Photoshop again, or was she like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did Photoshop. I think it was like someone coming out and saying they do use steroids. I feel like people are. Oh, I think I don't mind if people Photoshop their pictures. No. I truly don't care at I all. Don't care but I think it's fucked up to say that if you're actually getting like plastic surgery, you're gonna be like, I'm never gonna Photoshop again. Yeah. I will have a doctor completely change how <laughs> I look, but I will not use any applications to make myself look different. Yeah, I don't care about either of those things. But it's like you can't you can't have one and not and like make fun of the other. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know. I don't think we really picked the career path where we're going to be photoshopping ourselves. Thank God. What if the bros had to fucking photoshop themselves? That shit wouldn't be right. Just photoshop and prints on I'll ourselves? I'll photoshop my arms sometimes. <laughs> like, and not post it just to see what it would look like if I was more jacked. You really do? Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> Why don't you post it? It sounds I funny. I have no reason I don't do it, it for humor. I do it to be dead serious. I have a, I want to know what the I fucking bottom looks like. I have a picture of what... I think I sent this to you guys, didn't I? I don't know, but I hope that you would at least <laughs> also Photoshop your lats to make it proportionate. Because if you're going to be, wor- <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a that's the is that the unreleased is that an unreleased? No, no, episode? we posted that that's was our one. worst episode we've ever done by far because of the sound quality, the sound quality, I and mean, we just like didn't talk about anything. And I had woke I woke up like five minutes beforehand. Which one was that? When we were at uh, we were on the road. We were at in Georgia. Kennesaw. Oh. Oh, milk? Yeah. Yeah. That episode struggled. I thought it was the end of it. <laughs> it was the funniest episode of all time at the time. <laughs> True. Every every episode is the funniest episode. And I mean, it's literally... Do well, it. Well, now it's Monday, November 9th. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> and we're going strong. We're going until the goddamn sun comes up. We don't give a <laughs> fuck, bro. And we do this for the fans. We right. do this so one day we'll have the billboard in Times Square. Yes, people will be looking at our unphotoshopped faces and we would like, never photoshop that's the thing we would never we would never photoshop people would be like they're ugly enough to be funny oh, they've yeah. gone through enough oh yeah but i don't know if bro you had the fans going nuts up and fucking in bean town bro oh yeah we forgot we did we did we, did. we haven't talked about that at all yeah we had our live shows out in boston those were good shout yeah, out to everybody who came out yeah it was nuts 15 people died <laughs> And you kept podcasting. Oh, we just kept going. That's why it's like you're almost Im- implicit. We went like strong. the fact that you podcasted through it, it's like people are all talking about Aaron Rodgers and the vaccine. They should be talking they about should be how talking y- about the Boy Dad show. About how the Boy Dad the Boy Dad X Anus show. It's we were saying if we do more of those shows, we just need to come up with one name. Yeah, like a name for the show. Boy Anus, Banus, Banus, Banus. Yeah, Banus would work. Banus, or I like Boy Anus, like or makes son of it an like, anus. Son of an anus is, but like boy anus, like implies a man's butthole, though. Yeah, true. Boy anus would work, but I don't want to do banus. Son of an anus sounds like a poorly translated Spanish curse word or yeah. some shit. It boy was, anus would be funny. What was your takeaway from the show? Oh, they were fun. I mean, I totally lost my voice after, which sucked a lot. Why was it? Because you were just telling jokes so hard? <clears throat> no, so I was already sick. And then I just Facts. like went out up on stage and talked for like three hours, and, it, and, and I lost my voice, bro. That's like a, that's kind of a, a girl move, kind of a chick move on yeah, your it part. Yeah, I tried voice. so much shit and nothing helped. I, I was drinking honey. 
was just <laughs> chugging honey right out of the thing. Just eating honey yeah, cones. And I was drinking just straight lemon. I put a bunch of lemons in my water and I was just drinking it all day. Nothing helped. Did you rest up? Did you rest the, the I cords? Did. I did rest. And I, I, it's I, the only I, thing you could do. A lot honestly. better now. I think I think by tomorrow I'll be good. I'll be like a hundred percent. But I'm still waking up with like a sore throat, which is annoying. That shit is whack. I woke up with a sore throat on fucking Saturday and I cursed your name. Yeah, I mean, I told you I was sick last week, and then you were like, I don't give a fuck. And I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. I cared that much about fucking cranking out this podcast. I want people to hear our voices. It's amazing that we found we find an hour a week. With all the fucking grinding? Oh, dude, with all the shit that we do and we go through. At Tony Hawk Pro Skater Life, bro. What do you think about my notebook? I was about to ask you about that. I'm just carrying it around now. You look like an intellectual. I know. That's the whole point of it. You look like Bukowski. That's the whole point. You look like that you're probably like writing a, the next great American novel. Today I was sitting at my desk just writing away, and everyone was looking at me, and they were like, yo, dude, what the fuck What is, is he writing? Says? What could the fuck is he writing? Is he writing a novel? Bro, bre- crack it open. It's I'm actually, I'm writing a suicide note. <laughs> 60 pages long. I ain't reading all that. I'm happy for you, or sorry that it happened. No, there's definitely some heaters in here. Yeah. Yeah, this one just says, uh, Pete Davidson doesn't have a big dick. Ariana Grande has a small pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is disappointed. Kim Kardashian yeah. with her fucking Grand Canyon pussy fucking expected it to be filled up by Davidson, but yeah. it turns out that... There was one more that I had that I wanted to share. Or what audience. if every other Ariana Grande boyfriend had like just a micro penis? Like she was just they on... probably a, did. She was just no, on a... Mac didn't have that. I forgot. Oh, Mac had a fucking Jesus. dong. I mean, I feel like the fact that she talked so glowingly of Pete Davidson's dick was a sub at Mac Miller's penis. She never fucking yeah. said a, a word about it. It could have been. It's. I mean, it's not right. Honestly, she should be canceled for that. Well, she did get canceled. But hard. you should got. But and then she came back even stronger. Exactly. That's why she's a fucking girl boss. <laughs> but you need to. Where I the mean, hell is this joke that I wrote? Where is that good shit, man? Where's oh, the this fucking is where crack? 9 11 wasn't about politics or jihadism. It was about getting back at the woke cancel culture mob. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm sick of cancel culture, bro. And in this one, I was going to make a fake headline and it was just saying, Bin Laden speaks on 9 11 attacks. The woke cancel culture mob is coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost every single joke is about cancel culture or 9 11. <laughs> those are the two things that fucking America yeah. knows about. Like those are the two things that have. Pl- the, uh, if you point to the two biggest and worst things that have happened over the last 20, 20 years or so. Oh yeah, it's cancel culture and nine and nine eleven in that order. Oh yeah, cancel culture. Well, cancel culture is an easy first. Oh yeah, it's what? like cancel culture is up here and then nine eleven is just down. What does they say in Moneyball? He's like, these teams are here and then there's a heaping pile of shit. And then we're down here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's. Bro, I got it. I cancel got it. culture happened. There was a heat, steaming pile of shit. And then the attacks on 9 11. I got to get involved with the MLB somehow. How do you want to get involved? Should we get. We should have the Rocket on the next show, Carabas. No, 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 no. I'm trying to go to the actual league, bro. So wait, why not have Carabas on? Bro, he never played in the MLB. Well, his uh, co host, maybe we should have uh, Ortiz. Yeah, yeah, that would work. David Ortiz, the Boston's. Yeah. Boston's. Finest. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> little sass thought Club that David Boston. Ortiz was from Boston. I looked up. I looked up. Most famous people. We were on our train and we were trying to come out with a way to open our show. And I looked up famous people from Boston. Number one was Casey Affleck. Number two was David Ortiz. I don't think either. Or no. Casey Affleck is from Boston. Ben's from California, maybe? Ben's from California. But like David are they Ortiz, cousins? Like he's, he has like a full like Spanish yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they cousins or are they brothers? No, they're broskies. So how, or do, do they just move? Yeah, I think the parents probably conceived one. In yeah, one. yeah. They conceived one out in uh, California, and they're like, it's not going to work out. We got to get to Boston and harden these boys up. Yeah, and they did a damn good job. They're never going to be able to write will hunting. No. If they don't fucking do that, if they don't actually brawl out in the streets. It was method. It was Bro, all Casey, method for Casey's Gil- dumbass didn't have any part in writing that movie. He must have had some, th- some nah. part in it. He was at least in it. Bro, he's an industry plant. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole family's probably industry probably. plants. They were probably fucking... Was, did Weinstein... Yeah. He made that movie? Yeah. Damn. Did he fuck everybody that was in his movies? He fucked Matt Damon, I know that. Yeah, I, f- I feel like he was definitely fucking Matt Damon. Like, he, nah, there's no doubt in my yeah. mind with Matt Damon's pretty face, bro. His pretty lips. Bro. Apparently he has no a big-ass head. Damon? Yeah. 
one of my professors in college wrote for SNL, and he said the one thing that he remembered about Matt Damon was he had a huge head. Really? Yeah, like the size of a bowling ball. I. Uh, Speaking of which, we went bowling this weekend or week. Th- we did go bowling this week. And that was very fun. But real quick on Matt Damon, I saw I I uh, walked or he was I was writing for the like a sketch on the James Corden show or something like that, and you Matt. Were? Yeah, and Matt Damon was in the hallway, and he like came walking by, and everybody got like real quiet. But I wanted to make it seem like I wasn't phased by Matt Damon, so I started like just talking way louder, <laughs> <laughs> and just like completely I do ignored that shit him all the time, <laughs> and just yeah made it seem like I di- like I wasn't completely starstruck, yeah. and like kind of like half sub ignored him yeah. as he fucking strolled by. He didn't seem like he had a massive dome, well built guy. On the Big shorter head. side, though. Big head. On the, I didn't think he had that big of a head, bro. No, I've heard that he It's he said, head. he said right now. We're going he said, he said, <laughs> versus your, your professor and me. I also I wrote down all the ads in this. <laughs> Crack one. Now, let me, let's do another ad. Let's just do some more ads, huh? Oh, That'll that. be fun. I love fucking. That'll be fun. I love advertising. I love our advertising. Are you bro. here all week? Oh, yeah. Want to do two episodes this week? Yes, bro. Cool. All right. Yes, we'll two bro. Episodes. Should we have like Nick on or some shit like that? Um, we might be able to get Tim Dillon. Oh, fuck Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Big time I would say Nick. we probably won't. All right, Nick's back in. Yeah. Uh, but, Nick is out this week. Oh, Nick's out uh, all week. Fuck yeah. Nick in a big way. Um, but yeah, our yeah, I'm down to have another episode. Yeah. I like either doing way. Episodes. Either way, we'll do another episode. Yeah. For all the right. people, dude. A free episode, no ads. Yeah. Unless the perfect. advertisers, bare bottom, they can hit us up direct. Yeah, yeah that money's going to us, though. Yeah, they can. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Or the better help folks. Let's they talk can about better up. help. Actually, I might advertise for better help for free just because they are truly goaded over there. All right, well, let's not do that yet. <laughs> let's do the ad. <laughs> and then you can advertise for them. For all better right. help? Yeah. That's what that's what doing the ad is advertising oh, for them. Oh shit. Bro, fucking think about it. I got the better help. I'll I'll pull up the app right now on my phone, bro. They got the app on the phone. Bam, you could just schedule some therapy like that. It's that simple. If you need to talk to somebody, you can do it. You could just talk to somebody and they will help you out because they're that good of they people. They are. They are. BetterHelp is custom online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. And that's what I choose. I don't want to see anybody. It could anybody. be like a confession in church. Exactly. I just talk through a screen. Yeah. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can start communicating with your therapist under 48 hours. Why invest in everything else? And not your mind. Exactly. You can't Photoshop a picture of your mind looking better no, you like can. you can with your biceps. You got to you do that shit yourself. And you might work out in the gym. You know, you might go for long 10 mile runs first thing in the morning like Goggins. But sometimes you got to work out your mind too. And talking to somebody or going and logging on to BetterHelp, getting a therapy session, that's the perfect way. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you, it means that you have invested in keeping your mind healthy. And Barstool Sports agrees. They're offering better help services to their employees. That's us as an added benefit to make sure that they take care of our well-being. Nardini said, we're going to make sure that all the fucking chickens are eaten, that everybody is well fed out there because we don't want any, any chickens going crazy. We want to make sure that we're focused in. It's customized. Especially with daylight savings coming up. Coming up. Daylight savings happening. Bro, we're in the midst of it. We're in the midst this of it. This is the best time to get This is the get best the, time to get the better help going. And it's sponsored. This podcast it's gonna be a is a long winter. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's why we need to get out to Italy. It's been dark Stat. for the whole time I've been awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot we lived in Alaska. <laughs> 24 hours of darkness. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Son of a Boy Dad listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Son, that's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash son. Tap in, dude. Tap in. Better Tap help. into that better help, dude. They will look out for you. They will. They're, they're the They'll freaking care best of you. over They'll there. They'll take care of you. They're good folks over there. You pick your therapist. You say, oh, I don't I want to talk to you about this. Yeah. This is the things that I want to talk to you about. I don't want to look at you. I'm scared of cars. Want, I don't even want to look at you. Turn <laughs> that shit off. Why were you? But, I mean,. I, I'm just still I'm still stuck on the scared of cars thing. <laughs> I'd never heard of somebody just being Did scared of cars. Did you get car cars. sick? No. Like Bro. cars are essential, and you see those shits I would everywhere. Be walking everywhere. Did you really walk a lot of oh, places? Yeah. Did you live in a walkable town? No. 
I would. Uh, that's why I was so I'm pumped. Just, I'm just gonna walk, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I was pumped when I moved to the city because I was like, oh, I'm walking everywhere now. Dude, you do talk a lot of shit on New York, but you don't mention that it's a very walkable city. Oh no, I never walk in New York. We Uber every morning. Yeah, New York is the worst city to walk in. Why? What are you talking about? I'm sure it's nice over in Brooklyn. It's incredible in Brooklyn. <laughs> they got fucking street sweepers and police officers in every corner. The bums are rich. Yeah. Everybody's fucking paid out there. You can't. We literally can't walk in our in our neighborhood or there's like a 60% chance we'll get killed. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. That's two people have died on our street in the last month. Last two weeks. I feel like that's good, though, because that means that it's not you. I feel like that... Uh, <laughs> it's going to be us one day. You're dodging a bullet right there. Every time that somebody else dies, I get happy because it's like, okay, I'm not fucking... <laughs> didn't happen to me. This shit is fucking sweet. I didn't have to fucking die. It's incredible. It's bad, man. No, it's not that bad. Bro, shit's not going well right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, uh... Are you about to get back up on that stage, or what? Why, do, why are you talking to Dylan? What's uh? Is he or did he just said he's gonna maybe be in town? Oh, he's in town, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, he's in town. I asked if he wanted to come on tonight, but he can't. He had to record his podcast. It's like priorities, bro. I respect that. What's the nature of your guys' conversations? <sighs> just checking in. Uh, just checking in on, on some on a homie level. On a homie level, yeah. Or is I he mean, just we, giving us, you game? We're like this, bro. I know. I could tell, yeah. bro. Does Two peas in a pod. Does he tell you that you got you got to write jokes down in your notebook? No, that's just me doing that. Because it looks cool to bring a notebook up on sick. stage. It looks sick. No, I'm not going to bring it up on stage. I don't need to do that anymore. You bro. always do that. It's all up here. When was the last time you got up? A month ago. <laughs> 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 and did you bring the notebook up I then? was supposed to do two sets last week at the stand, and I had to cancel both of them. Okay. And now they're probably never going to book me again. And now I'm fucked. Now your fucking career is down the drain. Your yeah. only chance is making millions on Spotify. I know. I literally was... I had a set, I was supposed to do a set on Monday night and Friday night, and I was going to do one Saturday night too. Luckily, I told them I couldn't do the one Saturday just because I didn't want to do the whole weekend doing shows. And then I was like, I, I I waited until the morning of Friday to be like, oh maybe I'll have my voice back. And I was like, I can't do this. Yeah, you sounded terrible. It would have been Friday. so awkward. It would have just been bad. I would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, it, you're really quiet, and then randomly just like one word comes out really loud, just squeaks out <laughs> yeah. of you. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I had a problem with my voice cracking while I was in uh, my freshman year of high school. Really? And I was in a Spanish class with a bunch of sophomores. And every single time I talked, my voice would crack and they would fucking die laughing. Yeah. It, it, honestly, I'm surprised. Well, that I, how come Spanish? Like, when I was in Spanish, I was with a bunch of older kids, too. I was the youngest kid in the class for some yeah, reason. Yeah, why do they do that? I don't know. Did they think that we were just brilliant with language? No, I was in, like, the dumb class. Oh, they think we're just idiots with language? I don't know. That might have been it. It was humiliating. I, I had a I had a couple of bad eggs in my class. Oh, bad boys! Kids would be getting thrown out into the hallway like every day. Cause Spanish class is the prime class to fucking goof off in. Oh yeah. I had two years of Spanish where I was the only male in the class. No way. Hell yeah. yeah. That's fucking. And, uh, and you're complaining why? Yeah, that seems fucking <laughs> like every guy's dream. It's fucking tough to see someone else living out your that dreams like sick, that, bro. Um, there would always be people in my class that like tried to like. I mean, just everybody had, like, terrible Philly accents trying to speak Spanish. And they're like, Puedo ir al baño? <laughs> <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? It was just garbage. I, uh, I, Spanish, like, I, I have, like, nightmares about Spanish You gotta class. stop yawning. Yeah, because it's, it's making, making me yawn. It's making him yawn. Bro, it's six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't slept in two days. I can tell you well, haven't then slept. then stop stopping the pod and making us start again. Um... You get you get veins around your <laughs> eyes when you when you don't sleep I know, enough. I, I see it. You, you need some of those strips. Well, because I was up till four a.m. watching Moneyball last night. Why did you start it at so fucking two a.m.? Like, we, we were like sitting in the kitchen, and then I went and I was because I was like in my head, I was like, all right, this movie's gonna suck. I was like, I'm just gonna throw this on and fall asleep while I'm watching it. And then like within ten minutes, I was like, holy shit, this is the best movie I've this ever seen. This shit is fucking genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking pits on. I one. was like, they're gonna change. I was like, Billy Bean is gonna change the fucking game forever, <laughs> and not just baseball. No, everything. every sport, every goddamn sport. The way that we look at everything, the analytic approach is the way of life. Fucking. Hill. I was like, fuck the old school method. We're going analytics. <laughs> Statistics are everything, dude. And honestly, that kind of is you. You're a numbies guy. That's basically what it is. I know. Like you're just a different iteration of yeah. Billy Bean. I know. You're a Billy Bean for Twitter. It was a bummer that Billy Bean kind of f- Billy Bean Billy Bean had his flop era though pretty early. What do you mean? Well, he went in. He he got drafted to the Mets and then he like sucked ass. So then he had to sit behind a fucking screen. Yeah, you couldn't Come relate on, to bro. that. No, can't relate to that, bro. You go to the show. You got to be ready for the show. 
story of my fucking life, bro. It's the fucking. If you're not a pro, you play like a goddamn pro. <laughs> exactly, bro. That's some fucking bean shit. Why were you watching that at two in the morning? Were you? Uh, oh, that was Sunday night. Were you fucked up? No, we were just hanging out in the kitchen. We actually were watching some of your videos. What videos? We watched uh, some of your like oh, man yeah. on the street stuff. We watched the politics one. Oh yeah, like Trump inauguration. That was a, that was a fun video. Yeah, we were laughing hard. That was and my we watched f- some old Big Cat Man on the Street stuff too, which was funny. He's hilarious at that too. Yeah. It's a fun. Uh, it's like a fun thing to do. Yeah, just get out in the world. That was like my first week at Barstool. Actually, that was probably like five years ago. Yesterday, bro, Fucking wild, bro. Five year anniversary, and you didn't even sell it. <laughs> we we gotta go after. <laughs> Bro, the breakfast places are probably almost open. It's like 7 a.m. Should we go get a fucking yeah, celebratory? Let's, <laughs> let's pop yeah. bottles and get omelets. Let's go get some Bloody Marys. <laughs> it's 7? Yeah, it's 7 a.m. right now. Out. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's going to be fuck. late. <laughs> Pod's going to be late. If you're hearing this exactly at 7, you have found a hole in the space-time continuum. No, it's good. It's live. Have you... Uh, have you, you guys been are go- live. <laughs> oh, oh, we're live right shit. now. <laughs> Reporting live from... Uh, Stupid ass fucking undecorated room. I know. Have you been going out to bars since your all of your IDs have been stripped of you? Um, here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Just in New York. I'll usually just flash the guy a Benjamin and then let me in. <laughs> You'll just show him a Benjamin. Yeah. I won't even give him money. I'll be like, I have like, Benjamin. I'm gonna be spending tonight. <laughs> You're gonna want to let me through those doors. You're gonna not let a bunch of big big money spender a whale come in your door. <laughs> it's already shit faced at the fucking door. Dude, we got it. We got it. I mean, fuck a celly for my five years here. We got to do a celly on April fifth. Oh yeah, twenty first. I know. Are you thinking about 21. that yet? We got to go bowling for it. No, what day of the week is it? Yeah, you got to figure that shit out. We'll go out to the fucking we'll lanes, just do bro. Smoke some cigs inside. I'll probably just stay at home and watch Moneyball. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to do. It's on a Tuesday. Oh, fuck that. That sucks. Yeah, don't celebrate that shit, bro. we bro. literally have the pod coming out that day, too. Fuck. Damn. I don't do numbers. If Uh-oh. the pod is still a thing by then, of course. Yeah. We haven't <laughs> moved on. Yeah. If you're not just doing a pod with you and Dave solo. <laughs> I guess that wouldn't be solo. Dissecting Business Insider down to the roots. <laughs> <laughs> Canceling cancel culture yeah. once and for all. I fucking hate that cancel culture shit, bro. I fucking cancel cultured my fucking memory this past weekend. I got blacked out. And it, really? wasn't, it was the first time in a long time that I got just all the way blacked out. You got really hung over too, right? I No, no I actually didn't get hung over at all. I feel like a lot of people, I'll just see people at every... Bro, I've seen you after drinking like four beers and you wake up the next morning and you look like a zombie. What? You're when like, has that uh, ever happened? We gotta go to the train. <laughs> I'm the fucking bionic man. We gotta bro. go to the fucking train. <laughs> Are you talking about in Boston? <laughs> That was from cocaine. <laughs> That's because a stranger put cocaine in my nose. All right, that shit hangs me over. And where else? I'm trying to think of where else. Maybe you're just not a morning guy. Are you not a morning guy? I'm a morning guy. I'm energetic. I'm vivacious in the fucking mornings, bro. No, my not. shit cracks in the morning. But I feel like I see people every age from like fucking 23 to like their fucking late 30s being like, I used to be able to drink both days of the weekend and now I, like I, I can only do one day. I feel completely the opposite. I feel like I'm becoming like a better drinker and I can drink for like longer periods of time. Have you been drinking time. more often? I not used even. to be able to drink every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's why I had to stop drinking because you were so too, good, at too good at it. I was fucking fantastic. I was so fucking day. good at hangovers, dude. <laughs> I could drink. It was like nothing. I could drink so much, and I'd ha- it would have no effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting more bionic. Is that really why you quit, I Owen? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get like super hungover. I just get like insanely anxious to the point where I have to like lock myself in my room for 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah. And you just see some cars and you have a panic <laughs> attack. There's like a toy car on my windowsill. Yeah. <laughs> Dash cars out. on. Get it out. Turn this shit the fuck off. It's not a phobia of cars. It's not a, It's not like I'm scared of cars. It was me Sounds like you're scared of cars. in cars. And the <laughs> feeling the of being different? like trapped in the car would make me anxious. Like going on the highway. But is it also because it's moving? Like what about no, elevators? No, no. <laughs> No, elevators didn't really didn't really do it for me. <laughs> really? Because I mean, you're close uh, in chair, there. Chair lifts kind of did for a little bit. On uh, when you're skiing? Yeah, when I would shred. Dude, people love that you're a skier too. Like the majority of the Dude, questions some on the kid live DM'd show. Me. He like wants to send us skis. We'll take them. I said I have skis. I was like, I'll talk to Ron. 
We'll just take them. We'll both take them. No, I have, bro. I've got good skis. Well, this guy probably has also good skis. Like you can't not as wear. Good as mine. You can wear different skis. It's not like you have the same ski every time. It would time be nice down. to have some skis in New York. Yeah. When we go to Colorado next week. <laughs> Yeah, I, I booked that trip for us. Are we going? Yeah, we're not doing content, though. It's just like a little retreat. Oh, perfect. Boy, dad retreat. Team building. Yeah. I love a team building exercise. We can't do this bit because I literally just listened to a Comptown episode where they were talking about going on a retreat. Fuck that. Doing team building. Cut this. But I didn't <laughs> I didn't purposely bring that up because of that. But team building is, I mean, is, is an important thing. Yeah. You should have come down to Charleston. Yeah, that would have been weird. I was at the I was at the bar, <laughs> shit faced with me, like you and your wife. And no, there was like What's her, up, guys. Her girlfriends that were there. Like I'm they, really tired. Can you guys bring me home? <laughs> Getting kicked out of every bar. <laughs> like we tried to go to uh, yeah, we just hang out in the, one of the hotel rooms with like a six pack. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> You're like lo- it's like a dog friendly hotel. It's just you and a bunch of dogs locked in all the hotel rooms. Eating like a DiGiorno personal pizza that you heat it up in the microwave. It's actually DiGiorno, it's gonna dude. start sucking because I I'm like not gonna be able to. Like all my friends are gonna be 21 before me. That's whack. Yeah, it, there should be like a law where it's like if everyone you know is 21, or it should 20. just go like by grade. Yeah, grade would be awesome. Or just everybody in college should be able to drink. Like yeah. it's a joke that people go to college and like you're not you're not allowed to drink. Dude, my friend Matt, who you met. In uh, Vanderbilt, he's, he's a fucking legend. Yeah, he's a fucking legend. Um, he is gonna be 21, still living in a dorm. Yeah, so what? he's gonna like not. <laughs> he's not even gonna be able to drink on his we 21st. Ta- I was talking this weekend. We were talking about how he's gonna have to be like sneaking beers past his RA, who's younger than him. <laughs> yeah, my freshman year on my floor, we had the hockey team. Yeah, and they were like 23 year old freshmen. Oh, wow. yeah. Why does that always happen? Freshman, it was the same as at, at Penn State. The freshmen there were all like 23. The ho- only the hockey players. Because the yeah, hockey kids they do like they PG do like, years. Yeah. They go to school. They go to high school for like 15 years. It's Why? Ridiculous. But it's they like all day one of NHL. freshman year. It's like absolutely no drinking. And then he raises his hand. He's like, I'm 23. Yeah, I had that a couple kids like that. Yeah. And are they still the like not? Nah, they're like, um, we'll talk after. <laughs> yeah, you're actually kicked out of school. You're way too old for this yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, what the hell are you doing, bro? Get a fucking job. <laughs> Join the workforce. Fucking yeah. help America. It's over for you, brother. You ever thought about go- joining the military, bitch? <laughs> We should be sending our old folks, like, it, old people should be in the military. They should. It'd be way sweeter <laughs> to just let the fucking, like... Especially because they're not, like, they don't, like, care about anything. And they're, or they're you also... No, you can't develop PTSD if you're past, like, 30. Exactly. I yeah. think they would be good warriors. They have nothing to lose. And they yeah, have the exactly. most political opinions. They, like, yeah. care the most about, like, war. They're like, oh, we want to go to war. Yeah. And they're closest to death. It's yeah. not that big of a loss. No, it's not. Like, a fucking just sending over some, like, 65-year-old dudes. Yeah, we gotta stop sending over our, like, child soldiers are fun, though. Child soldiers are dope. Old people soldiers are it should dope. Be child, it should be children versus old. And it should be no... <laughs> it shouldn't be based on country. It just should be based on age. Like, there's just two sides. Children versus old. Every... <laughs> Every war is just children versus old. Yeah. Or we could just like call ahead to like Afghanistan and be like, "Are you sending your kids or your yeah, or your yeah, old yeah. folks?" Yeah, we'll fair. Yeah, we'll make it make it fair. Are you guys going A team or B team? <laughs> <laughs> the the old people would be the the A team. Yeah, yeah, of course. And the kids would be the B team. Yeah, obviously. They I mean, how young? How up. what? At what? Or I guess. So if you're 17, you're a child soldier. No, I think it's. Uh, I, I was thinking like kids. Yeah, those are child soldiers. Like 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 17, that's a gray area. Like, if I was 10 I got drafted to be a child soldier, I'd, p- I'd be pumped. Oh, same. When you're a child, like, that's when you're, like, peak, like, oh, the military is fucking sick. Yeah, <laughs> and that's when you're, like, your dad's nudging you watching yeah, more movies. Yeah. Like, you Check like that? This is this cool? Do you, th- you, yeah. you see yourself doing that shit? Yeah. And, like, part of your brain, like, <clears throat> killing people doesn't affect you. No. It's just like, oh, this shit is sweet. Yeah, it's like, sick. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bother yeah. you at all. So, yeah. oh, this is fucking incredible. Yeah. No remorse. Whoever whoever invented child soldiers, kind of a genius. Kind of smart. Yeah, I I'm honestly I don't think they were doing that. it. I don't think they were meant it in like a cruel way. I think they were just wanted the kids to have some fun. Yeah, it's like they wanted to Imagine have... how much better this podcast would be if I was a child soldier before. <laughs> life experience. Yeah, that would be crazy. Like they have the real life experience. I'm like 20 years old just talking about how I was over in Afghanistan for like 3 years. <laughs> American yeah, I, child met, I met Chris Kyle. Good guy, good guy. <laughs> lied about his lied about his head count though. Yeah, the devil dude over was body. A, dude was a nut, bro. Trust me, he's fucking nuts. You should drink it with him out there, bro. Oh, he had yeah. some stories. <laughs> I could hang with him though. I could hang with him. 
he would just set up his sniper rifle and fucking shoot Miller Lights <laughs> from fucking two miles away. <laughs> that's Chris Pratt, too. Was he? No, 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 no. That's not Chris Pratt. That's, uh, fuck. No, Chris Pratt was in some other shit. It's, uh, what's his name? What? Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Chris Pratt is, uh, he's in the Navy SEALs in Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah. I didn't buy that. I feel like if he went to, through actual training, not to body shame, uh, a man, but I feel like you'd be more shredded. No, I think they have to get really shredded before they join. Then when they join, they kind of let loose. You think so? Dude, no. there's no way they're like, you guys got to maintain washboard six-pack abs while you're out in Afghanistan. I bet they do. Or else you're off the force. And I think it's like... Uh, they probably just all stay jacked. It's like, they're probably just working out all the time. And they're just eating and they're like also, MREs. Or yeah, like and they're also shitty. just walking around with like 10,000 pounds of equipment on them. You know it costs seventy thousand dollars to deploy one U.S. soldier. Shut up. Yeah. And how much does it cost to send one to college? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you fucking think, bro. Isn't that crazy though? Seventy thousand dollars of equipment on them. Oh, just like that's all. Just yeah. as what on they're their wearing. Body. Yeah. Dude, like I'm pretty uh, sure. <laughs> no, I made a, that part up. Let's get a fact check on that. Nah, let's not. No, I'm like I. I saw it in some movie. I forget what movie it was. I believe it, and I don't want to fact check it. I like. I want to live in the reality where that's true because the defense fucking they spend they spend Boku bucks on defense, bro. Where's that guap going now, though? I think it's they're still just buying guns. They're buying like the best and biggest guns. Oh wait, that could be wrong. They definitely said that in uh, War Dogs, which is a comedy. <sighs> But it's not. It's also based on true story. No, that shit's definitely true. They're yeah, not gonna. Definitely. It wasn't the the figure facts and figures weren't meant to be yeah. jokes. I don't believe that movie was good. Mm-hmm. Was it? Yeah, you ever see it? I think I saw it, but I think I was fucking obliterated, bro. But you have a drinking problem. I just love this shit, man. <laughs> I was standing at the bar with a fucking stool over my head, like Travis oh, Scott. No. <laughs> I was fucking lit up, like Travis. I was cut. Yeah, dude, cut that. Leave that shit out. Yeah. I was talking about, like, early Travis Scott before he was a fucking mass murderer, okay? <laughs> the shit goes back to 2015, bro. Yeah. We were uncovering some shit before. What happened? We were waiting hours and hours for you to get here. What happened? What time is it now? We're three weeks in the future. It's been 24 hours since we started recording. It's December now. <laughs> it's 1030. At night. Oh, fuck. And the boys are just tired. No, but they're trying, not. But we're trying mm-hmm. our best. Bro, I'm in gastrointestinal hell. I had a fucking bean burger this morning. Yeah, I've been Owen, fucking letting off. Owen was like, Owen was saying that he like follows your wife on Instagram and he was like, yeah, like, <laughs> like waiting for you to show up. And he was like, dude, uh, Rowan's wife just posted a picture like at a bar with Rowan. And we were like, dude, he's not coming. <laughs> we were so convinced that you weren't going to come. I was just going to bail on yeah, the boys. Yeah. That's why I texted. I was like, Rowan, we still good for nine? Because <laughs> you were like out of, out getting drinks like 30 minutes before that. <laughs> no, those are pictures from earlier in the weekend, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm we, not, we I'm not that, shoot face right now. We put that together. Yeah. She also followed me first. We had a good laugh about it. Hands up. Well, I don't know. You're allowed to yeah, follow. Uh, you're allowed to follow out. her first. Bro, get out of your own. <laughs> you just made this so fucking weird. Fucking well, I guess pervert, we'll just do bro. the man. Let's just do the manscaped ad. That fucking pervert shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do the manscaped ad? This holiday season, I'm giving thanks to our friends at Manscaped. Do I tell my extended family that I have the performance package 4.0 from the global leaders in below the waist grooming? Not to mention it includes the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer to tame that bush and score brownie points from the in-laws, give yourself manscaped or the man in your life who needs it. Ladies, does your boyfriend have a wildly overgrown mane of pubes that you need to trim down into a a nice tidy flame pattern or a a cool fade from top to bottom? Then you can join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with 20% off and free shipping with the code SUN by going to manscaped.com. Perfect. 20% off. Really good job. Really good job. 20% off and free shipping. With code SUN at manscaped.com. That is 20% off and free shipping with code SUN at manscaped.com. Dude, they have it all, bro. They have the fucking... They they got the shit for you. I mean... I shaved my my set the other night, bro, and I'm looking (laughs) right. Yes, bro. I'm looking good. No nicks, bro. I'm a Sixers fan, so I fucking hate the Knicks, if you know what I mean, bro. <laughs> my balls are never getting bloodied. Not, not when I'm on the Manscaped diet. No, no. My shit is fucking... I 
I shaved my whole body from the, from the neck down. Smooth as a bowling ball. <laughs> my manscaped. <laughs> Did you? Ow. Just to get just to get aerodynamic. It helps I you get into my legs. <laughs> <laughs> you ever Help. shaved your legs? No. Have you? No. And neither have I. Why? Why would I? Ha- why? Like swimmers. Oh yeah, legs. I guess they do. I shaved my they chest do that? by accident. I've shaved my chest. I've shaved yeah. my. I shaved my. I have a hairy stomach, and I shaved my stomach, and I was like, I went. I left the bathroom. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, here. it's so much worse. And I was like, what the fuck did I just? Because then do? you really? just have like a crew cut yeah. on your belly button. <laughs> No, literally, like, because, like, the hair doesn't, ha- you have to shave either the entire front of you or nothing, or else it literally looks like I had, like, a lineup. <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> hell did I just do? It looked so bad. I, I Luckily, mean, I was, like, 15 at the time, so it didn't really matter. There was, like, one hair not that like you shaved now, off? Not like now when I'm constantly popping off my top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your fucking <laughs> chest hair is always peeking <laughs> through the top of your shit. It now, I literally incredible. have no hair anywhere except for right on my stomach. Really? Oh, yeah. You're going to grow a beard someday, though. I've lost hope. <laughs> Did you just recently? I actually was thinking about that last night. Yeah? While I was writing jokes. Fuck. What are some of your jokes about it? Uh, Let's see if we got any in here. <laughs> what yeah. do we have? What else? What else? Let's do another, let's do another bit. Yeah. I think I said my only good ones. Fuck. I feel like you uh, glossed over them, too. I feel like we could have chewed on, on them a little bit more. I feel like we could have really sunk our teeth into some fucking... This one just says, no life experience. <laughs> It's not as much. They're not all jokes. They're more like ideas. Thought starters. Thought starters. <clears throat> what do you got? What do you got? I want to see if I have any fucking thought starters in this um, bitch, bro. <laughs> thought starters. Things to start. Oh. This one says exploding ants with a magnifying glass. <laughs> um, you want to elaborate on that one? No. It's more There's a magnifying glass next to my desk, and I was thinking about how people used to do that. And they wouldn't like, they would burn ants. Yeah. But you want to fucking explode them well, like when a fucking I first ray learned gun. about it, someone was like, "Yeah, if you put a magnifying glass over an ant in the sun, it'll explode." And I did it, and I was like, waiting for it to explode, and just never did. It didn't even die, actually. Because you probably weren't like harnessing the sun no. part, dude. I used to carry a magnifying You're just glass looking around at me when I was younger, and I would just do like. So you got to get it so it has the little tiny dot of sun. Yeah, just do it to like my dad and just like burn his skin. <laughs> you were a, you were literally Dennis the Menace. Like he carried a slingshot in his back pocket, yeah, yeah. and you carried a magnifying glass in your back pocket. Like I you was, thought you were. I, mean, I was probably in like second grade, but I remember it being very fun. Thought you were encyclopedia. And I, would, brown. and I would just sit in my I would just sit in my driveway and just have my magnifying glass out, and I would just be burning newspapers. <laughs> and they dude, they would literally like light up in flames, like they engulf in flames. It's one of the coolest things you can do when you're a kid. Yeah, people don't know that when they give their child a magnifying glass they're giving them a wmd yeah dude it's actually fucking like it was i would probably i might get one again soon just to have a magnifying glass to yeah, like i have one on my desk actually i can just take that home well they, but of course there's, there's no sun in new york so that doesn't really work yeah they used to wage wars with magnifying glasses until the buildings blocked out the sun wait why wouldn't people weaponize that why wouldn't they make massive magnifying glasses and just put it over cities that's fucking That's a smart idea. Bro. I feel like save people, that, save that. Yeah, fucking tell that. We got to sell that to Donald Rumsfeld. My or other shit. big idea was I didn't know why serial killers <laughs> never just went on top of the Empire State Building with a bag of coins. Yeah, that's funny. That's genius. Yeah, that's really fucking funny, dude. <laughs> How fucking I'm dare just, you? He's giving honest ideas. I'm and you're sitting watching him you off. read. <laughs> He's <laughs> giving <podcast>. ideas. <laughs> No, oh, I'm not reading. Uh, this is for the this is for the fans. This is I can't say most of these because they're all about Travis Scott. They'll play in a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're saying it's too soon to way too soon. People are still taking this hard. No way, bro. You're allowed to say it. This is how we cope. This is how guys like us fucking cope with tragedies like that. We crack a couple jokes at it. What are you saying that the Trav? They were just stampeding to get the Travis Scott meal or some shit. No, I you got um, any McDonald's this crossovers. One just says Travis Scott is worse than Hitler. <laughs> and then this I one feel that. Says, um, when you go to a Travis Scott show, you need to know that there's possibility that the rage will take your life. <laughs> well, that's like something they actually say. I, I know. That's why I wrote it down. <laughs> fucking. Ellen dude. was showing me all these fucking, or he was telling me about them. What were they? All the posts. Oh, yeah. It was like, um, it, like everyone shut up. It was Travis's best show ever. Like, you know what you're signing up for when you agree to yeah. rage. No All way. The yeah. They're like bringing a new definition to the rage. 
it's like, like they like they are pumped about what happened. Like Travis this, Scott like, fans, yeah, like they're like this is gonna put us on the fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> people are gonna go to yeah. concerts everything, like hoping everything changes now. Oh, only everything. three people died. That's fucking whack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to up those numbers. <laughs> yeah, they they think that they're like actual they savages. Think they're a cult. Well, yeah, it's a cult. It sounds like a cult. Yeah, kind of. Um, when the one bro- kid died in 2015, Travis just posted a picture of his face and said, dead. "Like He's fucking dead. hero." He's dead in the picture, and he goes, he goes. This guy's a fucking hero. What? What, is, what does he exact? Put, what is the? What's the exact? He posted a picture dead. of him while he was dead. A, a, literally a kid dead at the mosh pit, and he's like, he was like, wait, fuck, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. Mosh pits are terrifying. Yeah, I've never been. I've never been in one. Soft, no life experience. We need to get you out fucking <laughs> I was moshing. At, I was at a reggae concert one time. My buddy greened out in the in the in the front of the entire thing, and we had to carry him out. Like he, passed out. Yeah. Oh, do you guys not say greened out? Is that not a thing? Yeah, I think... Didn't we talk about this early on? It's yeah. not a thing at all, greening out? Yeah, yeah, we did talk about that. It is a thing. And every, every, I got like 100 DMs people being like, greening out is a thing? Yeah. Yeah, my buddy nah. my buddy uh, greened out, and uh, it was bad. I don't like being in crowded... Like, it, it, there's no like there's no, there's no fun in being in that crowded of an area. At all. No. Fucking, I, yeah. I mean, festivals, I guess, are... Uh, are fun and cool, but just like being trapped, I, I feel like that's something to get a phobia about. Just being trapped in a fucking massive crowd, not being able to go anywhere, getting trampled to death. Yeah, that shit sounds bad. No, that shit's whack. That shit sounds like a bad way to go, and horrifying. Yeah, and I guess so. Yeah, Tra- is Travis Scott like fully the problem? Mm. <laughs> I tried to play devil's advocate a couple times, and I'm just going. Now I'm just going with yeah, it's Travis Scott's fault. Oh yeah. You can well, only play devil's. You can only get you can you can play devil's advocate once and get denied, and then you can try it again. And if you get denied the second time, then you're like, okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yeah, he is. It's got to be on Travis. Yeah, he needs to have fucking calm ass concerts. So it probably should be some reggae shit. Your friend's yeah. a pussy though for passing out from off weed at a reggae concert though. Bro, you don't know how my boys smoke. <laughs> Those guys take us to the next level. Bro, you've seen the fucking doinks I roll, bro. Yeah, tiny ass. I roll cannons, bro. Also, the picture that you posted of me when I was like, you're like, this is the joint that I rolled for you. That was the joint that you rolled. No, that was the joint you rolled. No, that was the joint that you rolled. No, bro, that was the joint you rolled. And everyone was like, bro, that roll is brutal. (laughs) Tough roll. (laughs) Tough roll on sass, no? Yeah, they flamed your ass for that. Literally, that was your roll. That was your roll. Like, we can make a video where we just, like, we both roll a joint and we let the fans decide. That shit would be so sick. That would be mm-hmm. fucking fire, we bro. Should get a, we should get a weed sponsor. Winner gets to smoke them both. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God, the other one drools. In env- he's just so jealous. <laughs> like a cartoon character. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Bro, let me just get one One puff. puff. Let me just get a secondhand nah, high. Bro, get your, get your roll game up. Yeah, you got to. Bro, let's go head to head. Bro, if you're a fucking smoker listening to this show in your car right now, fucking honk your horn a couple honk times. Honk your horn and, and light up another one. Now. Fucking spark Light up, up another fucking fatty. Legalize it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that shit, bro. I fucking... I love legal weed, man. I love I the love pot. legal weed. I love Owen's jeans, too. They're fucking... Like, I love how you can, just, you can just buy weed in New York now, like anywhere. Can you actually? Dude, there's a place just... <laughs> there's a place next <laughs> to our apartment, and Owen was like, I gotta go to the... We were going to the grocery store, and he's like, I gotta go to the smoke shop, and I went in with him. And I thought he was buying like a vape or something, and then he just comes out just holding two joints. <laughs> didn't the guy didn't even ID him or anything? Well, it opened. There was a grand opening, and I went in, and they had. Uh, Are there like a bunch of lights outside of it or anything like yeah. that? Oh, it, yeah, it's like it's just advertising. It's a weed. big smoke shop. Um, and I go in there, and it used to be reeks of weed, so I was like, oh, they must sell weed here. But I went in and I asked if they had like a Delta Eight or uh, three G pen or something like that. He was like, and oh, like yeah, pussy. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, oh, we also just sell weed, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then I was like, oh, that'd be better. And Is that opened, legal? Opened a suitcase. Waxes, tinctures, edibles. A suitcase? Nugs, blunts, Oils, joints. flour. Dude, it's because the, the cops aren't allowed to fucking arrest anybody anymore. No, no. You can literally b- break whatever law you Dude, want the, in the New York. The cops in New York, like the traffic police officers, are like laugh out loud funny. <laughs> They, I think I, they I, just made a one size fits all. Have we ever talked uniform. about the guy who walked past the cop to us with a spear? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What happened? This was like a long time ago. We were walking home, and this homeless dude was carrying a massive spear, no <laughs> shirt on. It was like he just came out of like the, <laughs> out of the jungle. Really? Yeah. But pa- pass NYPD, no problem. Yeah, well, I mean, you're—it's not a gun. You're—you're you're allowed to carry it's a not spear loaded, around. Bro. Shit wasn't loaded. 
Getting, there's no rule against Spears. <laughs> Okay. This is America, after all. Dude, the, the Second Amendment, brother. The traffic police officers in New York look like it looks like they bought a one size fits all like suit for all of them. Because every single one of them, their uniform is like ten <laughs> sizes too big. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Like they'll be wearing like a uh, pants and like their shirt will be tucked into their pants, and it's like <laughs> it's the baggiest outfit I've ever seen yeah, in my it's entire like life. The, like, 2004 NBA draft yeah. pictures. Just massive outfits. And they, dude, they are miserable. It's, it's got to be the worst job ever. Yeah, you're just They're standing miserable. outside under a tunnel fucking waving people on. It's like, who is signing no, not e- It's not even that. I'm talking about the people who have like the thing and they go around and they just like give people tickets. Oh, those Parked people. Cars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are the worst people. And dude, I, they dress like real cops, except they don't have like handcuffs or a gun or anything like that. And so like I've seen people like go up to them like they're the police and they're just like, Dude, leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. You can commit they, a full crime in front of them. They should just like not even have them wear a uniform. Because it makes them look like a position of authority when it's really people who are just like trying to get enough money to satisfy their perk addiction and like they, yeah. they don't drug test on the job. It's, they probably do. It's I mean it's probably a state job, bro. My, <laughs> get your facts up. Bro, my boy fucking worked for the Philly Parking Authority and he did it just for his perk addiction. <laughs> just to satisfy. <laughs> and they fired him because he wasn't giving out enough tickets. Like he, there's yeah, like you quotas gotta, you yeah, have you to meet. You have to just that fuck was, everybody uh, over. That was like a, that's like a, that was a big thing when I was in college. The the cops would go to you, you it was like a known thing, like don't go to the bars on like the thirty first or the thirtieth because the cops would just come there and just get every single person with a fake. That's why To fill their quota Let the fucking kids drink And kids would get like arrested Because <laughs> they had a fake ID And like a cop was only doing it Just to like fill his quota mm-hmm. that's Like so bro dumb. That's why we need to defund the police Yes bro And we need to burn the police offices down They're not doing shit anyway Officers or officers Both bro <laughs> Burn them alive I want, I want them burning <laughs> alive Some Joan of Arc <laughs> shit We need to bring back stakes Burn people alive at the Have stake Have I ever showed you my ACAB tattoo? Oh yeah you should Yeah yeah Chest piece yeah. Right across. <laughs> Said if I'm not gonna grow chest hair, I'm at least gonna get a cab. Yeah, and that shit is tight. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had to cut a little something because we were talking dirty about a coworker. <laughs> and if you want to hear what we said, then you have to subscribe to the Patreon. It's a hundred dollars a month. Exactly, and you can Venmo minutes. it to <laughs> Sass <laughs> yeah. and me. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can just Venmo it. Venmo us just each a hundred dollars, and uh, we'll tell you who we're, we'll everything tell you we're talking, we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. everybody we talk shit on. Stuff. Oh my gosh, it's stuff that you're gonna want to know. This shit is gonna have you looking at people differently. Yeah, people you thought you knew. It's like what? You might be hopping off the pirate ship after this one. Yeah, they might make just us walk kidding. the plank, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I'm talking pirate death. Um, Should we wrap it up? Yeah, let's do another show later on this week. Yeah. That was a great idea by you. Yeah. It's fantastic to be back in the fold. We might have a guest. We might not have a guest. But either way, it's going to be fucking great. It's going to be fucking spicy. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Make sure you uh, like the YouTube. Uh, subscribe. Give us five stars on the podcast app. Don't listen on Spotify. Listen on the Apple thing. We value that number more. We value that number more. If we're, you listen on Spotify, you're basically worthless to us. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, what would Billy Bean do? He would go to the place where the, the path of least resistance, he where would. the numbies are the best. And He would. Think like Billy Bean. That's my new motto. Yeah. What would Billy do? And he would get some numbies. Yeah. So you got to help us with that. Right, How guys. can you not be romantic? How can you not podcasting? be romantic about podcasting? <laughs> and we'll leave you with that. Thank you. <laughs>